Once upon a time, Nigeria was a dominant force in track and field event, especially in athletics. Nigerian sprinters were ranked among the best in the world, often competing with the Americans and Jamaicans. The country has produced among the highest number sub-10 runners in the 100 meters in Africa. But athletics has taken a nosedive in Nigeria. In the last two Olympic Games, Nigeria did not win a single medal in the sports. But one young Nigerian is driving an initiative to change that in the next Olympic Games in Tokyo 2020. Some of Nigeria's future Olympians. They are part of the track club known as Making of Champions. If everything goes according to plan, these young athletes will be flying the country's flag in Tokyo in three years' time. And not only will they be flying the flag of the country, they'll be aiming to win medals as well. Under the tutelage of Nigeria's former track star and Olympic medalist Deji Liu, they're learning everything they need to know ahead of the ultimate task in three years' time. No, I mean, it's not up to a year, and I mean, a lot of people are... They've started seeing what we're, what we're doing. I mean, I don't, I don't have any doubts in my mind that before 2020, we'll start seeing the product of MOC doing very well in various competitions. I don't have, the, I don't have any doubts in my mind. I mean, I don't, I don't even need to wait till 2020 before we start seeing progress on the track. I mean, the next one or two years, you start seeing MOC athletes doing very well. Progress has already been recorded. Two of the club's female athletes have been posting impressive times. Both Chiamaka and Joy, still under 18, and students have run 11.87 and 12.08 seconds in the 100 meters, and both of them are due to compete in the African World Youth Championships. My dream is to be at the Olympics 2020 Tokyo, and I'm working very hard towards it. I'm working towards it to achieve that dream, to be there, to win, not just going there, to win. To win a medal. If I can be able to put on hard work and determine and focus more on the track, yes, school curriculum is getting ahead of me, we have exam. But if I'll be able to put on hard work, I know I'll make it and I'll come back with medal. The initiative is the idea of this young man, Bambo Akani. He says he was moved to set up the track club after Nigeria failed to win a single medal at the London 2012 Olympics. We um, find the athletes. We offer them scholarships, we, we bring them into the club and we start training them while educating them at the same time. Um, the way we started that was through a reality show. We launched Nigeria's first ever athletics reality show in 2015. It's called Top Sprinter. And we went around the country with four Olympic medalists um, who were the judges on the show. Um, we have a competition. Then we take the top 50 in each location into the decision room and uh, the Olympic medalists get to fight over them for their teams. It's a bit like uh, The Voice, if you've seen The Voice. So um, we're thankful because, you know, even uh, back in 2015, the BBC recognized uh, Top Sprinter as the X Factor for sprinters. Um, and that's where all our athletes at the Making of Champions Track Club were discovered on the reality show. With sponsorship from some organizations, the club now has 13 athletes between the ages of 15 and 20 who are studying and training at the same time. And we've also launched a scholarship, um, and the scholarship is very simple. Um, athletes between the ages of 15 and 20, you've got to um, support them for three, four, five years for them to make it to the top. And the best way to do that is by sponsoring their education so that they're at university while they're training for the next Olympics. That's how it's done in USA and Jamaica. And now we're trying to bring that here. Um, and it's been received um, well, I, I guess, by um, some corporate sponsors. You know, we have um, Shell sponsoring a girl who was the fastest 15-year-old in Nigeria. Uh, we also have Arco Group sponsoring a couple of athletes. Um, but obviously, we need to achieve a bit more scale a lot more athletes in the scholarship for it to really change the sport in Nigeria over the next few years. The expectation is that by 2020, they'll be ready for the big stage. I've seen like few of them. I've seen like three, four, five. I don't have to start mentioning names that I know they can do far better than what I did. Far better than what I did. And um, 
and I know with the right structure, support and everything, I, I know it's not going to take them, you know, the, 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 the time it took me, it's not going to take them, you know, within the short period of time, I'm very sure they will get there. Did you have access to this when you were growing up that's, as that, a young sprinter? That's why I said it's not going to take them the number of years it took me because with what they are enjoying right now, I'm very sure within a short period of time they'll, they'll be able to, you know, spread their, you know, their, their, their wings and fly. For me, when I was coming up, the is I didn't even have not even quarter of the opportunity they are they are enjoying right now. So that, that's where I am, you know, I'm, you know, drawing the belief from that, you know, within a short period of time, they'll, they'll be able to do very well. And I'm very confident that um, a lot of these athletes will represent Nigeria in Tokyo 2020. We still have over three years to get there. And what's unique about what we're doing is that nobody has attempted to fund athletes for four years before the Olympics until now. Ordinarily, um, the, a camp will open three or four months before the Olympics, and by then it's much too late. Now we're taking 16, 17, 18 year olds who in four years time are gonna be at the peak of their powers. Um, and as long as we can keep them funded, keep them well fed, give them an education between now and 2020, I think Team Nigeria is going to be flying um, at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. For now, everything is all working out to plan. And if they stay that way, then there's no doubt that the goal of Tokyo 2020 will be achieved.